So we are making colloidal silver and we're going to make it at 20 parts per million. And in order to do so, there's a few basic steps and it takes two plates. So two silver plates, both made of silver, AG, and then we are connecting two wires, one with a positive and one with a negative charge. So now the plates both have a positive and a negative charge. <clears throat> and we're gonna submerge these plates in water. So this is water, H2O. And when we pass a current, electrical charge, positive and negative, the metal ions that are dislodged from this silver plate medical grade silver will travel across and be deposited on this silver plate. Not all of the ions are going to get deposited on that plate. Some are going to get put into ionic solution, colloidal area in the water and create colloidal silver. Now the metal that's being deposited on the negative plate builds up so therefore we want to switch the polarity. So flop the polarity back and forth between the plates every 10 seconds or so so that prevents too much metal being built up on any one plate and keeps the uh, ions flowing back and forth between the plates versus just one direction. Now, we're also going to take an air stone and put air below the plate so there's air bubbling in the solution and that keeps it agitated and breaks everything up so that no big particles are allowed to form. Everything is uniform and small and we have a nice even distribution of the ions in the solution. And we also are doing that so that a small layer of silver oxide forms around the inner silver particle. And what that allows to happen is when you're ingesting this silver into the human body, it allows it to pass through the gut and into the intestinal system and have proper absorption um, and then pass through the body cleanly. And it's also, you want smaller particles for this to happen. Again, if you've ever seen anybody that, like the guy on Oprah that turns his skin blue, or it's not done with nano silver and drinking it. That's with rubbing large amounts of large particles of silver on your body. So that won't happen with colloidal silver. It's completely safe. Health Canada approved in concentrations less than 30 parts per million. Again, you can make this at home in any concentration you want, depending upon what you're using it for. I'm using it for personal and health reasons and also for animals. It's great for animals, great for uh, dental health and gut health. So this is what we're doing. We're making colloidal silver by passing electricity across two silver plates that are partially submerged in distilled water and that's dislodging ions that become suspended in the distilled water and create colloidal silver.